This poem is called And Yet. I wrote it in early lockdown, but it seems ever more re relevant now. She dreams of expansive blue skies. He dreams of fields with grasses waving. She dreams of fresh, crispy air. He dreams of unrestricted motion. She dreams of fate space to fully stretch. He dreams of wildly leaping. Yet, they are together in this place, this flat with four little rooms. They have to share the bathroom space. They have to share the kitchen. They want to share the bedroom space. This leaves just one room. Yet, they can't imagine not being together. They can't imagine being apart. They can't imagine staying in forever. They can't imagine going out. They can't imagine how this will end. Yet, he dreams of splashing in rivers with her. She dreams of walking miles with him. He dreams of leaping boulders with her. She dreams of skimming stones with him. They dream of days when this is over, yet they are together in this place, this flat with four little rooms. They have to share the bathroom space. They have to share the kitchen. They want to share the bedroom space. This leaves just one room, yet this room, despite the Zooms it holds, hosts. This room, despite the work piles mess. This room, despite the we in the corner. This room, despite the view to the west. Holds treasure precious in a jar. Yet, in 2020, all through the week, of lockdown and pandemic chaos, of smelly socks and PMS rage, of eating too much and too much drinking. All the time they are thinking what endearments to speak on paper, wishes and promises for the future. Yet, here they are confined inside. Four small rooms for months on end. Just the two of them, together. Dreaming of stretching, of leaping, of space. Planning their forever plans. Only going out for essentials. Not once did they expect the sickness would affect them. And yet. Thank you.